Hello everyone. I know it's not Tuesday, but I have this urge to make another video. I am Teresa Paul, Senior Executive Unit Leader with Avon. You've seen um, a short video I did a while back, Nothing Changes If Nothing Changes, and this is a little bit more of the same, sort of. Um, if you attended my Coffee and Chat seminar while I was in California a couple weeks ago, you heard me talk a little bit about um, a little bit about this, and I want to elaborate a little bit more here. So I always tell you, you have to do what you're comfortable doing. Um, you have to do what makes you comfortable with your business. But if you really want to grow your business, you're going to have to do what makes you uncomfortable sometimes too. So what do I mean by this? Um, if you're doing what you're comfortable doing, and you're, sorry, my notes, <laughs> and um and your business is stagnant or not growing and you're in a rut, then you need to think about changing things up and doing more to make your business grow. And sometimes this has to include that something that's going to make you uncomfortable that you're not doing already. And um, this can include any number of things from speaking to people in person instead of just, um, you know, instead of just doing book drops or hanging books on doors or tossing them in driveways. You know, you're going to have to talk to people in person. You, um, you know, this could be um, making yourself actually, um, you know, ask for the contact information. Go out of your comfort zone and ask the people that you're talking to and giving the books to or your little sample packs or whatever. Ask for their contact information. Um, and then it could be even making that, um, making yourself actually pick up the phone and making those calls to call the person that gave you their information so that you can um, see if they have an order. You can ask them if they like the samples that you gave them, if they tried them. Um, you can ask them if they are interested in, in, in ready to start their own business, if you had spoken to them about becoming a representative. Um, and Because a lot of times we do give out the books and we get the contact information, but we don't hear back from the people. And so sometimes just being uncomfortable um, about the follow-up, if you make yourself do that, you'll be surprised at how your business can grow. Um, sometimes you, you're, what makes you uncomfortable, it might be driving or it might be hosting a party. So um, while you you know need to do what you're comfortable doing with your business in order to make it grow, you're going to need to do what you're not comfortable doing as well. Um, so doing what makes you uncomfortable, it, it challenge, challenges yourself and um, it helps you grow as a person as well. Um, it actually builds confidence and self-esteem. So um, just a few years ago, I couldn't speak in front of a group of people um, without having a panic attack or severe anxiety or just being so upset. Like, but I forced myself to do it. There were times somebody would ask me at a meeting, Teresa, could you share with us? And I would just want to throw the microphone back at them, like, don't talk to me. Don't make me talk in front of people. But I kept forcing myself to do it, and I kept just making myself uncomfortable. Um, I participated in a video with Avon Corporate about e-representatives and youravon.com. They might as well have asked me to jump out of an airplane. That's how terrified I was, and I'm scared of heights too here. But I did it. I, I was mortified, and I did it. It was pure panic, but I did it. Um, so, you know, that was, and then um, a little less than two years ago, um, I was asked to do a Motivational Monday video, just a really short video. That was anxiety. That was drama. That was like horrible. I had to get someone to stand there and film me. And, and um, I, you know, my husband was trying to do it and I was on the beach and like retake. Oh, no, I was ready to cry. But, um, but I did it. And I kept doing it. And now look at me. You can't shut me up. So, um, but my point is, is you can overcome your fears. And you have to make yourself step out of that comfort zone. Not just doing what you're comfortable doing, but doing what you're not comfortable doing as well. Um, and challenge yourself and then reward yourself for your success. So what's holding you back from achieving your dreams and goals? What's holding you back from really making your business grow and earning what you want to earn, attaining what you want to attain, earning if it's an incentive or if it's the money that you need to earn? What's holding you back? What are you afraid of? What, what is, is that you're not going to get where you want to go because you just can't do whatever it is that needs to be done. What's that fear? What's holding you back? Because so, sometimes we're just holding ourselves back. It's not, you know, we can't find the customers, not because the customers aren't out there, because we can't get past our own fears of how to find those customers. 
So um, think about this, you know, what it is. Get your pencil and paper. I challenged you before with the nothing changes if nothing changes. Get your pencil and paper. Write it down. What are you going to do to overcome this? Um, this fear or this whatever it is that's holding you back that's making you uncomfortable. What are you going to do to step out of your comfort zone to grow your business? How are you going to challenge yourself to do what makes you uncomfortable so that your business will grow? You know that I love you. Now go be uncomfortable. Have a great day.